gentlemen, it is your boy Raven, and today I am joined by my permanent co-caster. OF Quipix, who was a little afraid to introduce himself, but that's okay, buddy. Um, so tonight bit. we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Tonight we are hosting the awesome... Friday Night Lights against, we have Miscreant taking on Ficon 6, and I am not going to lie, I am very, very excited for this one. Um, <clears throat> Quipix, I, I want your personal opinion. What do you think, like, I got I to know, what do you think the, uh, what's your prediction here? Oh, man, I mean, just seeing the way that F6 works works together, they work well together, so I'm I'm leaning more towards their side, but... Nobody has really seen or heard anything from Miscreant, so it, it could still go both ways. Um, seeing how nobody has real good intel on, on how Miscreant has uh, been working, uh, screaming, and, and learning about the teams that have been uh, around much longer, like C uh, F6. Sorry. Um, so this, this could go easily both ways, but I'm leaning a little bit towards the uh, F6 side along with the rest of the community just from uh, knowledge and uh, a little bit of personal 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 preference there we go but uh yeah english yeah it's a very hard language um i am very. also going to be betting on ficon 6 i know that my boy barack oh damage is going to come out swinging tonight no offense to miscreant but just as a um fanboy of Damage in the F6 boys. I have nothing but faith in them. However, I don't want to come off a little biased, but I can really see F6 taking the cheddar 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. Wow, that is... That's a great prediction. I'm not going to give it a score. I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to follow your score, and we'll see how uh, accurate that is. Um, oh, as okay. the community Look at that. has a 83% vote for F6... So, we'll see how it goes. That is going to be exciting. Tonight's game, uh, <clears throat> as you guys should know, will be on the Almighty Clubhouse, and Miscreant will be our first defenders. I'm I'm really excited to see how Miscreant is going to be defending. I'm curious if they're going to go gym or CTV first, because I really feel like those are the main like two sites that people just play favorites towards, but... I mean, every once in a while, you can see him going down below. Like, I mean, really, who knows? I mean, even bandwise Quipix, what do you think? Who do you think is going to be first off the board? If you're asking me, I can see Thatcher going off first. First off the board for Clubhouse, Miscreant defending. I would have to go with a solid, maybe, maybe an IQ ban or a Maverick ban. Okay, okay. Fair points, fair points. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, if I see Jackal Band, I will be slightly uh, triggered, but I'll, I'll keep that on the inside just because, you know, everybody just gets rid of Jackal because they hate him. It's okay, though. Um, Defense-wise, though, I'm, I'm telling you right now, like, if they're getting rid of Thatcher, the wise play is to get rid of Cade, but, I mean, I, it's Siege. Anything's possible. I mean, you can Cade juggle CTV wall, no problem, right? Um, it's, it's a difficult task, but you can definitely, you can definitely give it a shot. Um, Kate juggling is, is one of those things that, uh, you have to be very, very precise to do so. Um, you, you don't have enough time to Kate juggle a thermite charge unless you pre-throw it and it has to be like spot on to get it. But the Hibana charges, they, they're a little bit easier to Kate juggle. As uh, I've gotten it a few times, and I'm not the best with cage juggling at all. I throw and go. That's how I go. Throw and go. I like it. I like it. Of all terms you can say, throw and go is... <laughs> That's one for the books right there. Oh, man. Uh, you know, Quipix, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like... I feel like my prediction might be a little bit wrong. I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm starting to overthink... Um, maybe Miscreant might end up, might end up, might, blah, 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 might end up taking this one seven to five. But I mean, like I said, we don't know a whole lot about Miscreant, but we know enough about F6 to know that these guys are going to be like Muhammad Ali and put up a fight in the ring. 
<laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, do you? Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you picked up where I was going with it. <laughs> uh, looking like the chat here is um, they're they're all voting for the uh, Ficon Six here, but you know, we'll have to see. You know, a, a couple rounds into the game, it, it could all change. It could go from from F6 taking the lead on attack all the way to <clears throat> F6 jumping on a defense and Miscreant just taking it all the way. So, well, I, well this, this is going to be an exciting game as we have one team that's very well known going against a team that I believe just started, um, was, was it in the middle of Summer Cup 2? Um... They they started getting their roster put together and getting all excited for uh, season two of Collective and here we are in the Masters League and uh, it, it should be a very exciting game nonetheless so no clue oh, wow. on the outcome for this but it, it's going to be very very exciting. Somebody in the chat, a couple of people in the chat are saying uh, F six going seven zero. <clears throat> and, uh, well, Quipix, it looks like we are um, about to get this show on the road. What do you think, buddy? A little bit of Friday I... night action for you. Friday night action. Looking like it's going to go great. Friday night lights, baby. Here we so... go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Let's see how the band system will go. I'm, I'm calling it right now. Thatch is off the board. Right here. I think right it's going to be a Maverick. Oh, don't Maverick or IQ, man. It's it's going to be one of these three. It's got to be one of these three. You really think so? I mean, IQ, yeah, she is really good for going underneath, but the problem... And it's the oh, IQ what band. you called it! It is the IQ it's the band. IQ Look band. at that. It kind of makes me feel like they might play a little bit of Echo or Valkyrie if uh, one of them don't get banned. Uh, just, just for that extra set of intel. Um... Which is making me start to feel like Miscreant might just be a straight intel team. But who knows? Oh, and there's the oh, Thatcher. There's the Thatcher band, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, personally, in, in my personal opinion, I believe that Echo is a wasted band. I feel like there are a lot other stronger defensive operators that you can consider getting rid of over the Echo. Because, I mean, a Yokai drone... Once it goes off, it's not going to be that hard to really see yeah. it. We're going to get our third ban up, and it is Cade. No surprise there. With the Thatcher ban, you want to get rid of the Cade, so that way, I mean, you can get through the main wall or really wherever you're pushing with Fast ban from Miscreant. Oh, very fast ban. It's going to be the Echo, echo There it is. See, but, I mean, like I was saying, personally, I just... go for it. I don't know. It, I, I don't know. Uh, in in your eyes, Echo is a useless ban. In my eyes, it's somewhat of a useless ban. Yes, it, it's it's a sketchy op to deal with. Nobody likes to deal with Echo, but it's also a very very viable operator to use because when it comes down to it, this Echo could be all the way across the map, and and nobody would know. So site's completely clear, and you've got, you know, you've got the whole team running around looking for this Echo. Nowhere to be found, so they start planting the bomb with like 10 seconds down to go. You know, you time that perfectly. They're not going to be able to get it right. They're 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 not going to be able to get the round. So you do raise a fair point, but I mean, first of all, can we just shout out damage for using the Capitao Elite skin? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What a props man. to him, man. I haven't Props seen that Capitao Elite skin in any of the matches so far. Attackers need to locate and on top of that, the sixth pick was not used, and <clears throat> Mysteries first hold is going to be CTV. No real surprise there. I, I mean, it really is just one of the more stronger spots to defend. I mean, as long as you can keep that wall closed. And thankfully, they do have the bandit, but that Maverick in Attackers play will cause a, a lot of issues for that poor little bandit. I mean... We did see Auto end up taking Buck, so really that man could just go underneath. Maverick wouldn't even have to waste his time if it's oh, done yeah. right, but we'll see how they plan to hold the Ten bottom. To insertion. With that Capital, the Capital could go all the way to the other Five side of the roof, throw his uh, fire charge uh, right onto the wall, Attackers pushing the bandit off. The oh, their bandit charge is still on the wall then. Buck could go beneath, take him out, or the Ash. 
go both ways, really. Um, and it looks like we're going to see what will be happening here shortly. Bandit obviously going to be holding down that wall. I'm, I'm really curious to see how Mr. Green plans on holding this one. Me as no, well. No real action yet. We got Necro going for the wall. This is really going to be... Um, <clears throat> Uncontested here for the Maverick, and I mean, really, I can see Cam and Necro getting that wall open in no time once everybody's ready. Because I mean, once that Maverick hole is in, you know, nobody gonna want to be there. And the first hole is in. Seemed like that buck was pushing garage. Oh, Half but the first frag out. is gonna end up. Yeah, the first frag is gonna end up going to Mystery, and damage will fall. Nice moves by Drastics. That leaves out a lot of utility for uh, for F6, uh, no longer being able to use those fire charges or smoke to cover the plants. That it does, but I'm a little curious if Maverick is... Oh, wait a minute, we got Bacon with a little bit of action inside construction, but I don't think that man's going to peek him again. Or is he? Oh, he's oh. Oh, he's testing it. He is testing it. I'm a little Bacon decides curious. to just back up. Okay, they did end up going for that soft breach on the wall. I cannot blame them one bit, really. That's. Oh, wait, did they go for the soft breach? Buck is still below. Yeah, no. No, Thermite just went for the upside down Thermite. And then Otto's going to end up <clears throat> being taken down by the mute. That is unfortunate to see. One minute on the clock, Doc still holding down Garage. Looks like everybody else is still outside trying to plan how they're going to get up in there. Mozzie. Oh, boy. Maverick Mozzie. Oh, trading shots. Oh, boy. A little bit of a life hand right there by the Mozzie. You are asking me, and the Bacon's going to end up pushing his side, taking down the Don. Now, I mean, it looks like he has control. Taking down the Mozzie. Maybe with a double kill. Oh, but he ends up going down. That was looking in F6's favor. Now down to a 2v3 situation. I wonder how the Thermite plans on pushing this one. Oh, Thermite's already inside. Oh my gosh. Everything is just kicking off. Looks like the Maverick's just going to be uh, covering. Plant's going down. And the Mute's pushing up to Nitro. Misses the Nitro. Ooh, 15 on the clock, off. though. They yeah, gotta get this plant down. It's starting to go down one more time. Oh, and the nitro ah, goes out again. Left. Oh, that was the nitro from, from under below. The yep. And Maverick's ended up going down. Mr. Green will take the first round on CTV. What a play. What a hold. Yeah, that's that's one of the... You know, it's, it's very evenly sided for uh, both teams to uh, hold or attack CCTV. And... It just worked in Miscreant's favor better than it did F6. That is true, and there will be no 7-0 for FICON tonight. Looks like we are going to have a battle, or that could have been just one round, but they'll be going downstairs to Church and Arsenal. I wonder if they're going to do any six picks here, since they didn't really they didn't do it last round. So I'm kind of curious to see what we're going to get. Oh, and they get that six uh... pick from the Bandit to the Jaeger. Oh, to the lesion. the lesion, better yet. <laughs> Even better. Which Maybe one's be stopping what? a rush or more... It, you know, lesion is a very, very uh, flexible operator. Um, he can be used as intel and... Um, Jackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Just, just as a slowdown operator. <clears throat> that is true. I'm really curious to see how they plan... I mean, they do have a lot of intel there with the Mozzie and the Valkyrie, so I really wonder what they plan on. Like, like where are they going to plan on putting those Valk cams versus where are they going to plan on putting the Mozzie drones if he does end up getting any? Knowing those pests, I mean, once you see them, if you're lucky enough, all you got to do is just turn around attackers. and boom, gone. Attackers have located exactly. Bomb. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds remaining. How easy do you think that Miss Grant will be able to hold this downstairs site? Objective is to I, I typically see people go upstairs to gym as their second site, but how do you think this outcome will be? 
Um, I'm gonna be honest. I can, really, I can see F's. I can see Ficon doing a little bit different of a push. I really, I think they're gonna make their way into Moto and then just take control of Church. If, if you're asking my personal opinion, just from looking at the Havana and Thermite brand, uh, <clears throat> operators that they brought. But as you can already see, that the uh, Zofia is already going up top. Probably gonna work on some roam clearing. Meanwhile, I'm really it's curious like the to see what the Thermite... work with the Zofia. Well, can you blame her? <laughs> a little bit of run through two very overpowered operators. You can't blame them at all. I am wondering what that thermite is doing. I am, I am uh, curious. Looks like he's gonna go open up the dirt for the boys, which means Savannah must be getting the hatches, hopefully. Oh, oh patches are already, oh, open. Patches already open. Oh, and gets oh, picked off. Ozzy. Wow, what a peek! Kind of rare that you see somebody from the hatch get OP, but what what have we going on here with auto? Already down blue. Oh, 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 oh what a shot on that Bozzy, dude. Goo mine in them and all. That is that is impressive. Doc looking to contest blue right now. From the ash. Sees the blue size. This is a shot. Run for his money. We see damage on main stairs. Thermite pushing dirt. Watch me while I got Necro at the hatch. Ash rotating back up. I wonder what their plan is here. I mean, with that Hibana gone, they're probably not going to end up dropping Moto, but. Yeah, this this might be just a main push. Sledge breaking the floor. Trying to get as much eyes as possible. Getting a little. Uh, Trades a few shots. Down there. Yep, With and the then lesion. he ends up falling. That is unfortunate. Very unlucky. Like two or three F6. Down to a 1v3. Oh. 1v2, sorry. They're making a fall in dirt. It is now down to damage. The Zofia. Let's see how he plans on pushing this. He has church control, but he's going to take a couple shots from the mute. Oh, come on, damage. Work some magic, baby. Let's see what you got for us. This is a tight situation with 20 seconds left. And the odds really aren't in his favor since the defuser is unfortunately across from him in dirt. But I mean, really, it looks like the U and Legion are just going to hunker down and hold the angle that they need to. Down to 10, 10 seconds, seconds damage. Remaining. What you going to do here, big shot? Five seconds remaining. Clark Here's some mutes, right? Looks like, there it is. Looks like he's, just looks like he's trying to go for it, but misses it and just. Operators, you have run out of time. Favor. It is unfortunate to see Mystery and taking a 2-0 lead on Ficon right now. That is that is pretty um exciting. Great yeah. Clubhouse can sometimes be a defender bias map, and we are unfortunately <clears throat> My apologies, I thought somebody had ended up lagging out. That was not the case. Let's see what we got going on here though. Checking out that scoreboard, we got Paralysis with the 5-0. Solid work by him. He's also taking the Insane. castle. Really good work so far by Miscreant, keeping Ficon just out. I mean, as you saw, like most of their pushes have really been last second. And I mean that is that is really good defensive work by Miscreant to keep just to keep them out. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times well, granted, we were only we we're only three rounds in now, but I mean they had need to really the wall and the hatch bomb. open. And they just couldn't capitalize on the pushes, which is unfortunate to see. Yeah, and Miss Green's been working in the dark for a solid month or two now, um, so it, it's really exciting to see how it's actually coming into play here um, with the uh, strats that people really haven't seen from them before, unless they've scrimmed them. Um, and even then, I haven't seen anything in the Discord Bob about scrims or nothing. So, Miscreant being in the dark with this, it's, it's kind of shooting F6 in the back here because they have no intel on, on how or what Miscreant does, and it, it's not really helping them at all. With the basic strats for gym and bedroom, it's... This could go both ways, as F6 has seen something similar to this before. But with the way that Miscreant's been able to hold down the site, 
from them entering or even just being able to get a plant down, they, this is really, really looking in this man's favor. <clears throat> that is true. Granted, we are really a long ways away from the finish line. We don't know what F6 can do on the defense. I mean, like, who knows, you know, maybe they weren't just warmed up. Maybe now, maybe now they're kicking on the gears, you know? <clears throat> who really knows? We did see damage over there making his way through, or it looks like he wanted to go through CTV. I wonder what happened to him. Meanwhile, we have these Sledge and Thermite trying to get into that main wall. And they kill first comes off from the Sledge. The first frag, per se, of the round. Got exited with a frag grenade. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, man. <laughs> go to the you are the jokester of the casting group, let me tell you. <laughs> Sophia taking out the castles, getting that bandit off the wall. Oh boy. Now it's starting to kick off. Looking like the thermite is going to be able to get the wall open. And in the meanwhile, we have damage making his way through seats. He's gonna go and contest cash, is what it looks like. Come on, boy, get those splash bangs and then eat those things. Oh, meanwhile, Zofia ended up getting a frag on Ozzy, it looked like. And wow, F F6 has control of his own plant right now. Damage with a Four double one. kill. And F6 is gonna end up taking the round. Wow, what? What a play by F6, really getting control. Once they got that wall, I mean, they just flowed like water, you know, walked right in and just had control. That was um, oh, yeah. really well played by them. It was, I I had trouble paying attention with all the action going around. Um, was there a Jaeger on defense? There was, yes. The uh, Sledge ended up sacrificing a nade or two. As did um, Zofia. Zofia ended up sacrificing a couple gadgets so that way they could get that far back castle open. And if my eyes don't mistake me, that's an alibi. And I am excited if they end up taking her, but at the same time, they'll probably sixth pick her. Oh, and no, it they're looks keeping the like alibi. they're keeping the alibi. Oh, this is going to get exciting. I am super excited to see this. I mean, how often do you see an alibi? <clears throat> being taken especially attackers need to locate and defuse clubhouse let alone ctv i am i mean don't get me wrong alibi in my personal opinion is very uh, how do I, the she's a very underappreciated operator per se i mean if you think about it you know if you place them properly and put them where people are going to be they're a real hazard because it's like i don't want to have to it's hard for me to have to shoot around this decoy that can give away my position and at the same time focus on trying to take you out. You know, it's, it's very, it's very difficult and I feel like her, she's just a really good intel operator. By the way, Roham, thank you, number Five one dad jokes, remaining. NA, means the world to me right there. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's, I haven't seen an alibi be in play. I, I haven't seen Alibi being play even in ranked for a long time, so I'm really excited to see how they're going to make this work and how these decoys might uh, play out, if they might scare some of the uh, F6 players or if they're just going to not even think about it and just go with it. I mean, really, it's going to scare me, dude. I'll, I won't even bother it. Not going to lie. No, that's a joke. I'll push it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, looks like we have damage making his way into blue. I, I'm curious to see how they plan on pushing it this time after the first round kind of, you know, damage got picked off early. So I'm a little curious to see how they're going to end up handling this round. We have auto underneath. Joined by, it looks like the Capitao, not necessarily. He's going to end up peeking through stairs, which the Legion is holding. Doesn't really look like anyone's doing a whole bunch of peeking. Meanwhile, the smoke ended up getting picked off from... Oh, the main wall! Meanwhile, Bacon is already inside. Man, with no fear, but he's gonna end up getting taken down. That is unfortunate to see by the Legion. However, it is now 4-2. to two. Oh my goodness, it's a 4-1! That's his favor! Now he's stuck inside construction. Let's see how he plans on making that comeback. However, he will unfortunately fall in F6. Taking the round 2. To two. Oh boy, how the ties have turned. 
how the turn tables. <laughs> okay, I'm shift. done. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. I gotta oh. let you get your dad jokes in here too. Don't worry. Getting tied up here. F6 going two to two with Miscreant. Miscreant starting off with the advantages of going 0 and 2, but F6 bringing it back, meaning F6 is not holding back. They've still got a lot to fight with, and they're not going to slow down. I feel like the start, the start of the game was just their warning saying, hey, we're going to let you think that you're going to win, and we're going to go. This this is us now. This is our this is our map. This is our game. Get out of the way. That is true. Granted, we are now four rounds in. Let's check the scoreboards and see how everybody is doing before we end up transitioning to, to defense paralysis. Still the top frag. Meanwhile, bacon and damage carrying their weight as best they can with auto coming in four and three. It's really exciting how you know F6 ended up falling down. 0 2 and they I mean just like you said they just weren't having it they're like all right you got your time now it's our time to shine exactly and them coming back the way that they did um, the, the first round they came back with was Jim and bedroom and they just basically walked in the site it was like miscreant yeah, said left. here this is your site you can have it now and that last Five round I didn't search. see much of due to some technical difficulties but Attackers from out how fast it was, it. I'm assuming they kind of did the same thing. So, what Miscreant's going to do here to change that, I have no clue. Being the downstairs site, it could be a little easier to hold again, um, as they won this round. Uh, but, again, could be in F6's favor, as they know how they held it last time. So, we'll really have to see. That is true. Meanwhile, bacon and damage just, just I mean, those two literally just walked in the garage uncontested. Nobody was even bothering sitting in there. I was kind of expecting maybe a Jaeger to roam over there, but it looks like we have somebody on <clears throat> main staircase, and it is the vigil. So, I mean, really, it looks like they just gave them control from garage and over. So I can see this being a blue push, maybe. They look to be so with the Havana up. Stairs. It is true. Oh, they must be freaking out because of the vigil. He, I bet you he dropped pool hatch. I bet you he opened that boy up, and that's what they're freaking out about. Nope, does not look like it. Mm, interesting. They must be going for, um... <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no way! The vigil just snuck up on the Sophia! That is unfortunate. He caught him at the wrong time. What a bummer to see. Man, those roam clears were literally up there hunting down this vigil. Little did they know he was on the floor below them and ended up getting the frag and got away. Meanwhile, we see Bacon and... What are you doing, Necro? Oh, all the way over there in spawn. Must Oh, he must have been the hard droner. Meanwhile, it looks like damage. Oh, don't you tell me you're going to drop that hatch, boy. Oh, okay, alright, he, he's not. <clears throat> oh, looks like we have a little bit of a possible auto push here, but that nice return did his job denying as much as it can until. Uh oh! Whoa! What a turn! A little bit of there on main stairs, the damage taking out the vigil, and it looks like he's gonna tag on Mozzie. He's gonna end up taking down Mozzie. Damage with a double kill. Wow! What a turn of events. 40 seconds left, now down to a 3v3 with. Chief getting the frag onto Attackers the beacon, located that is the, the ties right now are in the defender's favor now. I mean, granted, there's still... Oh no, it's a 3v2, but there's 20 seconds on the clock. The plant has to go down, or they have to kill those last two defenders. And it looks like they're going to go for the plant? Question mark, question mark, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. A little bit of a gunfight, damage trying to cover the thermite as best he can. Thermite knows he needs to get that plant down. Plant is going go. down. Four seconds left on the clock. Clock is ticking. Oh, but he's gonna end up taking down the thermite. Can damage get the plant off in time with man recover? No, man, he's gonna end up falling. The plant is not gonna go down. That is unfortunate. Ah, oh, no way. They had it. It was in their hands, and then they just lost it at the final seconds. What a play by Miscreant. Down a body, 
time on their side, and they ended up taking the round. Yes, very, very exciting round as Miss Grant was able to hold downstairs just as good as they did the first time. That was a really good last push, or last second push, I'm sorry, by Ficon. Unfortunate to see it not go out. I mean, I know those last second pushes are exciting when they, you know, end up <clears throat> somehow happening. But unfortunately, that was not the case here. Now down by one. Final round before the switch, by the way. So I'm, I'm really excited to see F6 on the defense. Because, I mean, we saw Miscreant. Defenders, protect your bombs. They're doing well so far. By attackers. Granted, we're now six rounds in. Are they going to take the 4-2 lead? Or is it going to be tied 3-3? Three, three? We're going to find that out here in a couple seconds. They did hold CTV fairly well. However, they've been having problems with them just... With F6 just walking in and getting a frag or two. But they end up getting refragged, so they can't really capitalize on it. So let's see... Like I said, if they can capitalize on the big play. Attackers have located a bomb. What do you think is going to happen here, Quipix? I think, personally, it's going to be just as easy to get that wall open the, the what Five is this, the remaining. third time now? The, the second time, the third time? Um, Attackers are heading out to defuse the bomb. But I feel like Miscreant's just going to be able to hold it down just as good as they did before. And not really, like, it's almost like they're handing them a nibble off the cookie, and then once they fall into the trap, it's like, this cookie's mine, not yours, and they just completely shut down F6, so it could go either way, considering that um, F6 is pushing the back here with the Zofia and the Sledge, they could get a nade in uh, to get that bandit off the wall, or move the bandit, put the wall open, just as they did. Just as they did, yeah, bandit wasn't even on the wall, he was too busy worrying about that. Oh boy. Wow, two minutes in, wall open, 5-5 five, five on each side. Let's see how they plan on getting up in there. Maybe, maybe somebody's, I doubt someone broke uh, construction, but right now we see paralysis peeking off. Oh, the big colonies on that man, peeking the, oh, but he's gonna get fragged! Ah! That's what you auto refrag immediately. What? What timing? Now dropping four to three in Ficon's favor. <clears throat> we did see the view inside garage, and it, I mean, Sledge pushing wait, in. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, Sledge is walking up in there right now. He's in sight. He's not going to be able to tag him. He's in a great position though to stop the plant. And wow, Sledge just walking up in there, taking him down. Ah, not enough to take down the Mozzie on East. That is unfortunate to see. Now, 3v2. Nah, knocked down to a 2v2. Chief with a double kill. 1v2. Oh, no. Camp, what are you going to do? You're clutch up the round, big dog. Let's see it. Let's see it. One in garage, one on these stairs. Oh, Camp is then going to end up Man. falling in history. Taking the round 4-2. to two. That is unfortunate. With F6 having a 4-2 advantage. And they just... I feel like they got a little too excited there and just kind of handed Miscreant a few kills. Um, other than that, it, the Thermite was holding was holding the, the garage window to prevent the Mute from shooting him and his teammates. And it just ended up not working for him in the end. Um, that Sledge pushing up, getting a little aggressive against the Mozzie, taking shots. Both traded shots, but... Mozzie was only knocked down to 50 health, and the Sledge was just completely annihilated out of the field. <clears throat> that is true, and we're going to see a CTV hold from F6 auto. Six picking from the Valkyrie to the Mozzie. I mean, still a good call. Both of them very good intel operators. In my personal opinion, I like Mozzie just a little bit more, but <clears throat> we'll talk about that later. Defenders, Meanwhile, from being let's see how F6 plans on holding CTV. Maybe their defense game is a little bit better. And, I mean, who knows? Maybe they can end up uh, winning the next five. And then my prediction may be correct. Or, I mean, like I said, we might just end up having a boxing match. Really going, this might go to overtime, but who knows? I mean, anything is possible in season. We all know that, unfortunately. This would be a mighty exciting game.
to watch it go into OT. I would say. Ten seconds to insertion. I that I've is gotta say, true. MIS, Five seconds left. you know, living up to the the potential that I've given them with um, them being a team completely out of sight of everybody. It's it's kind of showing right now. F6 doesn't know how to attack them until they play them. And it, they had to give it a few rounds. And unfortunately, F6 fell short by two to match up the 2-4 lead that Miscreant has. But F6 is fairly decent on defense, so I'm thinking here it should be fairly easy for them. The dock here Attackers holding in garage is preventing any push. As that the is... sledge is looking to push into garage. Zofia pushing in the bar. They want that downstairs control as quickly as possible. That is true. Granted, we are roughly a minute into the round. A little interesting play. I wonder why Zofia is making her way through bar. Probably just trying to get to the wall as best as possible. She's going to end up getting a frag on the way. And oh, getting Bandit to move? Possibly. Not really. Bandit losing no, no health from that. He is he is not affected. He's like, I dare you. I dare you. I don't care about that wall. Meanwhile, Otto has a little bit of a gunfight with the Zofia. Oh, wow! Does not get the headshot. That is unfortunate to see. I I believe main wall just got opened. <clears throat> I'm not 810% sure. I'm just kidding. It did, it did not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Slayer contesting garage. Getting a frag off onto the mute. Or the However, Jaeger, exactly sorry. Refragged. Getting refragged out. Um. Oh, meanwhile, auto going for a little bit. Did trickery? Auto not watch? What? what? I... Did auto not see that guy? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I bet she was. Most likely. Auto trying to screen just walked here. in the Doesn't cash. work out for him. Oh, gets traded out though with the bandit sitting in garage. Alrighty, camp. Now's your time to shine. Let's see it. <clears throat> I wonder what I wonder if the Zofia is gonna end up going for the sledge. No, he's gonna end up bleeding now. Camp getting the low-key double kill. Let's see, it's a 1v1 now with the Zofia slightly tagged and 30 seconds on the clock. She either needs to get the plant down or take him out. <clears throat> and oh. she's gonna end up. I did, but she didn't have her utility switch. That is unfortunate. Oh, I know that pain all too well. Camp gonna clutch the round with a 3k. Man. That is very wow. unfortunate for Miscreant. But, you know, kind of expected with how how aggressive Miscreant ended up getting there, but with how counter-aggressive F6 got with that, uh, that Mozzie play, as well as that bandit sitting in garage taking the place of the dock, um, being able to hold off against the Zofia, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I want to say the sledge? I'm going to say you're correct. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to say I'm correct. That's how that's going to work. Because nobody here was, you know... Operators are hard. English is hard. It's all cool. I am. <clears throat> I mean, that was a really good play, can. though, however, by Mystery. I mean, they had cash, no problem. Uh, uncontested. Once Otto was just juked, per se, with that flashbang, I mean, it was... They just had it. Oh, easily. However, yep, I, I just... It's unfortunate to see, I mean... You know, Mystery had really proven that they they came to play. They showed up, and they're about to show out. It's just unfortunate to see when such an advantage ends up slipping through your hands. I mean, we saw it happen to F6 a few times, and now we just, we're just we going to see it happen to Mystery most likely here on this gym hole, depending on how they play it. Looks like we have the visual going up top. Is Baker going for spawn kill? Oh, don't you do it to him, Oh, he's boy. going for the spawn Don't you do it to him. Nobody's spawned. <laughs> Unlucky for Bacon. <laughs> Unfortunately. Seeming like they like all the... spawned on the east side of the map. Two spawning on the west side. 
Um, the Habana. Pushing main. It did look like Ash is gonna try and make her way either into CCV or she's probably just sitting up there. It looks like he's gonna end up getting up in there eventually. Here we go. Little did she know she's got the Jaeger and the Vigil to deal with, and the first frag of the round is gonna go to Chief onto damage. That is unfortunate to see that as the Jaeger inside the garage. That vigil is garage control. Wow, what a play by Bacon getting the wall bang! I wonder what Zofia's probably thinking over here. Meanwhile, we have... Oh, goodness, Sledge sitting over there holding the angle, but he's going to end up getting Vigil down. The Roamers are now gone. They have an opportunity to push Sight. Let's see how they plan on pushing it. With that Thatcher band being gone, and that Cade band being gone, really, they're just uncontested completely. Entire cover uh, with this Habana being able to get the hatch is much much easier considering that Cade Ban is um, Was taking place the sledge here pushing Oil pit With the legion testing in blue Zofia and sledge looking to pinch the legion Oh, what a frag literally that is unfortunate to see the Legion now gone out of blue. They have control if they do decide to push it in there. Smoke the only one able to contest. Church, meanwhile, and is now, now the only one contesting. Not in Necron's favor. That is unfortunate. Plant, going down. Plant is going slide. down. Let's see what Smoke plans on doing here. Really just. Uh, curious play. Using both of his utility. But I mean, can you really blame him? It's cutting off the line of sight, so they don't—they don't know where he is now, but they do now. Smoke. Not a lot of time left on the clock. Deep is almost at half. It is now a one v four situation, and he is going to end up falling with F six. Now taking the round, making it four to four. Sledge taking that Eight last kill. In. That is true. Eight rounds in. Let's check the scoreboard. See how everybody is doing today. Not too bad. Paralysis is sitting at a heavy 11 and 4. Meanwhile, Bacon and Damage 8 and 7, 7 and 4. <clears throat> so it looks like Miscreant has old boy Paralysis <clears throat> really um, kind of carrying the team here a little bit. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's just setting himself into a nice enough position to really take everybody out. Right that now, the he... underdogs, Miscreant, coming out 5-3. to three. F6, it is not looking good. Let's see how they plan on holding this church arsenal spot. Once again, the smoke coming out for the 6-pick for Maestro. Probably a little bit better with Nanayer, or are they just taking him for the ACOG? Or both, really. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs not as they can. Not for much longer. Uh, I'm not sure me. if you have heard, or if anybody else here has heard. Unfortunately, Maestro will be losing his ACOG. Sad times. For all of us. I, I'm curious to see how have the the location of plans on pushing this one. I, do you think they're going to take the same route here? Where they're just going to go for the roam clears first and then deal with the few in sight? Or do you think F6 might have adjusted and they're going to maybe play sight a little bit tighter? Maybe have one less roamer. Maybe only have the um, the Jaeger roaming. Or if they want to be daring, have the Mozzie do it. But Personally, you know. I feel like they're going to they're gonna anchor down here a little bit more for the sight control. As they've clearly noticed that Miscreant pushes very, very, very aggressively to get control of the site or at least the surroundings of the site because if you have control of the surroundings of the site your your roaming is going to get back into that site very easily. so i think that they might just go for the straight straight push again and then um take out the roamers as they go but we'll have to see it doesn't look like anybody is roaming at all though a couple interesting black eye placements by the Valkyrie there, though. Not too bad, however. <clears throat> we now have Stocks Hatch opened up, and I, I mean, it looks like they just have complete control of the first floor, no problem. 
Doesn't really look like they hit a row bump just yet, but I'm sure one may come their way or may not. Maybe they're all just angry. Who knows? No, the Legion sitting up top in garage. Maybe he'll be able to take the Sophia by some. Oh, plot twist! Mm, my fault. I think Legion that was, was not Sophia and the Maverick. Most likely. Uh, Waiting to push together, the Maverick was me. just droning. Yeah, it happens. Um, Valkyrie here holding an angle onto blue, as it seems like that might be the direction that they are pushing. That is true. I'm a little curious to see. From the Jaeger. What a man. That That is really daring to hold such an angle like that. I mean, bullet holes are both an advantage but a disadvantage at the same time. Meanwhile, Paralysis is going for the main hatch. <clears throat> and Bar is now open for the attackers to see how they plan on holding it. We have camp inside of Moto right now. Probably going to try and hold that down as best he can. 50 seconds on the clock, but. Camp gonna end up getting fragged out. As unfortunate to see the sledge <clears throat> now make his it. way over there. It is unfortunate to see. I'm, really, this is starting to look like it's in F6's favor with time on their side, but anything is possible right now. Paralysis is trying to get a little bit fancy, and the Valkyrie gonna end up taking him down. And Otto gonna get a double kill again. Take the sledge from pushing. Oh! Wow, it, was that a big moto drop? Auto with a triple kill. What? Wow, that man just busted out some moves on him. What a... 15 <laughs> seconds remaining. Incredible. 10 seconds remaining. As we see the Maverick pushing down here into the site. Missing a shot onto the Jaeger. Oh, he's gonna end up getting the damage. However, M6 taking the round, baby. Now we're talking. They ain't done yet. Bacon with a little bit of, um, uh, sharp shooting of his own. <laughs> Ten rounds in now, four to five. X F6 knocking on the door to tie things up once again. Miscreant only needing two rounds to secure the victory. Let's see how this CTV cash hold will go for F6. I'm slightly nervous that Miscreant is probably going to push cash the same way, but I don't see it working out this time for them. It is looking like every single round getting closer and closer to the possible chance of an OT, bringing it to the first to eight. I would love an overtime round, not going to lie. But, I mean, F6 is really just showing them, like, hey, listen, we're here. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. You can search. Right, anyway. <clears throat> so Brains, what do you think what do you think um how do you think F6 will counter Team Miscreant right now? What do you think is going on? I there? think Personally, I, I feel like they're bunkering attackers. down a bit better with their defense, kind of closing in, holding sight a lot better to, uh, to go. make Miscreant push them instead of them pushing Miscreant, left uh, taking into effect that, you know, they're the defenders, attackers are moving to and the bomb. It, I don't know, they're kind of giving off the vibe of, we're the defenders, you're supposed to push us, and it's working. And they're catching Miscreant off guard with some things, you know, like rotation holes, um, key points of reinforcements, uh, stuff like that. ADS placements from the Jaeger, a whole bunch of, it, it, it's a big list of, of everything that F6 is doing now to prevent Miscreant from winning, and it seems to be working in their favor. That is true. Meanwhile, almost a minute off the round, the wall is not open. However, they only have a Habana, so, I mean, really, the, ch the favor is already in F6's hand. Not having that Thermite, I mean, you can still make a decent enough hole to get in there, but really, it's a lot more challenging with the Habana than it would be with the Thermite. 
And while we have paralysis going to that window, oh boy, is he really gonna contest that? The ADS, luckily taking out the flashbangs, however, she's gonna sneak one by. Nope, another ADS. Just in the right position to save him. That would have been quite the play to see the Havana rush in there, however, oh, the Bacon. Yankee getting really aggressive here. That is true. Is he gonna oh. end up picking one off? No, but he's gonna tag the ball. What a move. One lion going out, auto holding down construction, holding no problem. Construction. Here comes Twitch. Easy frag question mark. Let's see it. Let's see that heady auto. Oh, oh, that is unfortunate. Auto's gonna end up fall into the Twitch. What a play by Chief. Chief taking out the lesions. He is not afraid of those blue mines now until he hits one. Bacon knowing that they're gonna be coming from construction most likely. Gonna try and just hold them off as best as he can. It down three to four. It, looks, it is in Miscreant's favor right now. It looks like Team Miscreant doesn't. They they don't like the garage at all. One bit on this map. As you say, that Chief is trying to make his way into the fourth diffuser. Gonna be in a little bit of a battle here for damage. He's gonna try and hold that one down as best as he can. Because I mean, really, that's the round right there. Unless they manage to take out all three of them. What a little peek and Bacon's gonna end up getting frag, making things even more so in their favor. Now, damage with a double kill, bringing it to a 3v2. Defuser not in their hands, 20 seconds on the clock, both making their way to the cash. Jaeger ended up gonna be taken down now to a 2v2. They don't have Diffuser, 10 seconds remain. This screen really needs to go for those frags. I mean, time is just in their favor. Meanwhile, the Maestro is going to end up picking up the final two home garage ammo hole. What a position to just sit himself in. Wow! 76 bullets of pain, baby! Insane. With F6 holding that defuse as smartly as they did, not, not really pushing out as much, not being aggressive, just being more defensive. Um, really worked in their favor, gave them, F or gave them the round. Um, Really, really excited to see how this is going to play out now. That F6 brought it back, tied it up, and said, "This is our, this is our turf. This F6 could really, has a really go both ways here." That is true. I, I am just, man, my prediction was wrong, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're getting the hell of a game out of it, and that's all that matters, right? Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. That was really quite the play, though. I mean, unfortunately, see the defuser fallen into the garage and damage was able to capitalize it. Now they're going to be going down to gym bedroom. Let's see how they plan on holding this one. We already got the bandit on the wall and the castle's there with the Jaeger, no problem. The Mozzie, you know, I we really haven't seen a whole bunch of Mozzie plays, per se. I know situational, you know, you don't want to be on your drone all the time. I mean, maybe just set them up and then call it good, but, you know. Five seconds. And yeah. anything is just possible. It's It's very difficult with having a mozzie in play because Attackers must there's only so much time during the prep phase to get everything ready. Um, Attackers drop the it's Attackers 45 seconds the to capture drones and then place them places. So it's it's very difficult as a Mozzie player to um, to capture the drones, reinforce, set up the site as it's supposed to be, and then get to a safe spot to place the drones, and then carry the intel for their team. So I I mean personally, all I do is I just kind of take them and I just kind of throw them places, just fucking. Uh, put them up in in certain areas, uh, just just for the intel. But here we see the Twitch and the Monty pushing construction, and it looks like the castle is going to contest it. Right. Meanwhile, we do see the Monty and Twitch making their way through construction, really uncontested. This is going to be interesting to see how F6 plans on using the Monty. You don't really see a Monty a whole lot. Normally, he's banned. <laughs> But thankfully he isn't. Meanwhile, Sermai is hopefully going to get that wall. He will damage the band to uh, unfortunately to see my friend. I know that pain all too well. Can't see how you planned. 
I wonder what his game plan here is. <clears throat> Goodness, meanwhile, Lamonti is literally just being a human shield for that Twitch team, taking a bunch of shots. Spooked himself a little bit after seeing Thermite there. Looks like he's gonna try and make his way into. What have we here going on in logistics? The main wall was open, but Thermite is ended, gonna end up being fragged out by Big. Want to play the Monty just being as intimidating as ever, holding the door. Oh boy! Oh, he's got back to the Meister turret. That's gonna sting a little bit. Oh man! If he only had a little bit more boost on that Meister turret, I, I really with feel like double kill. Could've... While now being a 42 in Epsis' favor. Attack is across the bomb. All the way in main hall. Bacon with a triple kill now. Quite the move by Bacon. Can he end up finishing it with the quad? Let's see. I wonder what Epsis plans on doing. He knows he's coming in. Oh, Bacon will not end up getting the quad. Now we 3v1 with 25 seconds on the clock. As he that switches is to the shotgun. See. Switching back to the rifle itself. Camera spotting him. Doesn't look like he's not he, he's not gonna be able to do anything here. Punching the barricade, try to get it open. Doesn't really work. He pushes up to site here, saying, "I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do this in honor," as he does just that. With Necro ended up taking him down, closing the round. F6, first lead of the game. That's exciting to see, right? One more round and game's out. Very, very exciting. Seeing how it went from Miscreant's favor to now F6's favor. It's very, very exciting to see how F6 brought brought it back from an 0-2 lead and then a 4-2 lead to now leading 6-5. I think that shows that F6 is much, much stronger on defense as... Uh, rather than attack, B but, you know, again, bringing it back to the fact that F6 possibly could have never scrimmed Miscreant before, so it's just easier to hold down and, and let them come to you instead of you going to them, so. Still still could go either way here, but looking like it could go Attackers into F6 winning 7-5. As we go downstairs with the Legion, Maestro, Valkyrie, Pulse, and Jaeger as a lineup. Oh, this is going to be a Pulse very exciting curious here. <clears throat> Maybe we can see Attackers that Pulse just playing uh, under kitchen floor, or he might just be daring. I mean, it is Bacon. Who knows what Bacon could do? <clears throat> this has been quite an exciting game. I mean, just as we saw round for round for round. I mean, it, like. As seconds to insertion. Just incredible as it was, and like I said, it ended up turning out into a boxing match, and thankfully that was the case. But let's see if F6 can Attackers take home the cheddar. A bomb. Looking like it's going to be a construction... Uh, not construction, sorry. A east and west spawn. And they, they might go for a blue push here. With that Habana and the Maverick, they could get the hatches. Um, the Zofia, the Twitch, and the Ash to frag out. Um, most likely having the Zofia to protect the Maverick and the Habana. <clears throat> that is possible. They did go blue last time. Meanwhile, we have the Twitch. Most likely, she's going to be taking out those Maestro turrets. I mean, those things to a Habana pellets are a literal nightmare. As we know all oh, too well. And they are. Meanwhile, we do have the Pulse and the Valkyrie on top of that playing below Kitchen. They do not want them to get that hatch, but they don't have the Thermite. So really, is that going to all be in vain? Or will it pan out in their favor? Paralysis getting a little cheeky with it going down for that window repel. <clears throat> Always excited to see. Meanwhile, Acoustic taking his drone downstairs. A minute 40 now on the clock. Time is ticking, Miss Green. Let's see how you plan on pushing this. 
Nitro cell. Oh, bacon. Is he gonna get this? Easy little break. And he gets the nitro cell. Going for Habana on the window, missing his shots. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to hit him. Getting an angle on it though. Using his first gun. See where she's at. And he's just gonna back away from it. Smart play by Bacon. Um, unfortunate for the Ash. But at least it wasn't. Yes, because that is another gun, yeah. <clears throat> However, with the main hatch open and a minute on the clock, they are really gonna have to move if they do have hopes. And it looks like Otto's gonna end up, oh, just not even affecting. With that nitro, a little curious as to how that happened. However, there's 40 seconds on the clock now, down to a 4v3 miscreant. Clock is ticking. F6 holding the line. 35 seconds left on the clock here. I think it's going to be in F6's favor. Dropping down to a 3v2. This could get very aggressive. They have no other options. A double kill on the round, by the way. Meanwhile, Camp ended up taking down Paralysis with the Goof Mine. You love to see to those. Acoustic pistol whipping the Jaeger. 10 seconds on the clock. 1v2. He's got to take out both the Maestro and the Legion. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. F6 making the comeback. 7 to 5. Very, very exciting game here tonight. Glad for it to be on a Friday. Um, it's, it's not the end of the week, but it is definitely a great way to end off the weekday and head straight into the weekend here where we've got a couple more games and then on to next week where we've got some newer matchups and we'll have to see how those go. <clears throat> that is true. Man, I, I am not going to lie, that game was white, the show. Definitely. As we are working to get the IGL of F6 in here. How do you think the that man uh, himself. went up, Raven? Uh, well, meanwhile, I am not going to answer your question because we have the man, the myth, the legend, Damage himself, my man's, joining us after quite the game, my friend. That was very exciting for just to see the comeback. Thank you. Yeah, it, it took us a few rounds to, like, get our footing together a little bit because they played pretty kind of weird. But after we kind of figured them out, it was pretty sort of easy to counterplay them. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie. When it was when you guys were down two to four, I I was starting to bite my nails. But I had nothing but faith in you, damage. I knew you could bring it back. Miss Green, Thank really. You. I appreciate that. Those guys really did bring the fight, though. And I mean, yeah. both teams, both of you guys did a phenomenal job. <clears throat> yeah, they're a decent team. We we tried to cut back on the room because the way they just like pitched like the very first time we tried to roam was just weird so we didn't feel like trying to roam and figure it out we just rather play our angles and win the gunfights that we know we can win gotcha so what damage i gotta ask you what was it like um you know just first couple rounds in you know, trying to trying to figure them out, trying to diagnose them. You know, what was the what was the team chatter like up in there? Was it nice, calm, and collective, or were you guys really just all over the place, just brainstorming ideas about how you're gonna end up, you know, just making the comeback happen? No, nah, just always calm and collective. You can't make any type of comeback if you're not, you know, level headed and keeping everybody together. So just try to keep everybody at ease with the game and just figuring it out. We knew. Uh, the type of defenses that they kept running and we just knew we had to we had a lot of individual plays try to happen so we just had to lock that up and you know make sure we coordinated a lot more and once we did that we just really started to get it down pat especially on defense when we knew you know we knew where everybody was playing and our call outs were a lot cleaner than they were at the beginning of the game so it just took us a few rounds to really kind of batten down everything and really get in our kind of stride Gotcha, gotcha, damage ball. I mean, really, 
uh, my final question for you until I hand it off to Quipix. What was your mentality coming into the game? Um, definitely didn't want to come out losing week one. Uh, we definitely wanted to come through with a win. We didn't really know anybody on the other team, so we we, we pretty much came in like kind of blind. I've never seen them play before, so it was a new team for us to play. But uh, just we knew that uh, we just had to really come in with our game. We couldn't really take anybody slightly, especially if we didn't. You know, we weren't aware of them. We didn't know much about them. But you know, just by anything, we had to come out and win week one. Gotcha. All right, Equipix. That was really all I had, so the floor is yours, my friend. Damage. Seeing how you guys have played and just ranked itself coming over to League, it's it's a very, very, very different playing field. But the way that you guys pull it off is magical. The way you guys work together is magical. How do you feel that you brought it back from... Uh, an 0-2 lead to a 4-2 lead all the way to winning 7-5? Um, I mean, I, I never really like lose faith in my guys. I know any deficit that we're in, we'll be able to come back from, whether it's a 5-3, 5-2, 5-1, uh, you know. I know everybody is capable of pulling their own weight. Uh, you know, Bacon can just pop off and frag at any moment. Otto has his moments. Necro can hold sight like anybody that I've seen. Uh, you know, everybody just has their own different talents so whatever deficit we're facing or whatever lead it is that we're trying to hold i don't really ever lose faith in my team and knowing that we can you know take whatever is coming from us or not coming from, uh not coming from us coming from the other team so just it's very easy to stay level-headed like that knowing that i have a good team around me well level-headed indeed you seem to always pull it out how how many surprises did you guys have there with not not knowing how Miscreant played at all? Not really much. Uh, Attacking-wise, it took us a little bit to kind of figure out how they were playing it. Uh, on defense, we just knew that they liked pushing the different, not the different, but more of like the off attacks that are like the usual. Like They tried getting manual open like a little bit, but they mainly tried to go for that construction push. Mainly when we went downstairs, they really like doing the blue pushes that a lot of people, you know, sometimes don't do. Sometimes people opt towards, like, the moto church take and kitchen drop. So uh, it was just a little weird to kind of, like, adjust to that on defense. But like I said, once we sort of got that stride going and just being able to communicate it a lot easier, it, it, was, it was much better in uh, locking them down for whatever they were trying to do. Well, I can say adjust you did. Congrats on your 7-5 win and Thank your you. first win of the season. Um, we're excited to see uh, how you guys will be playing out in the season. So, Thank you. As always, you have your um, 30 seconds here to shout out anything. Um, and the floor is yours. Uh, obviously, a shout out to everybody on my team. Uh, Bacon, uh, Otto, Otto, Necro, Camp, uh, Will. Loopy, Haywire, everybody that just really supports us uh, in Collective and whatever other leagues we play in. It means a lot to us, so uh, that's it. So hope to keep on winning throughout the season. Oh, yeah, and shout out my Vice President Malik. That's my guy. That's mandatory. <clears throat> Funny as always, Damage. I love it. Alrighty. Well, there. I guess that there goes your thirty seconds of fame, my friend. Damage. Thank you again for stopping by. And congratulations for having on the victory. I can't wait to watch back. Always a pleasure. Uh, I bet you guys did great casting. We did our best. First time duo. The bird in the brain. It's not your first time, though, Raven. You've casted before. You're a great caster. Yeah. Oh, you making me blush. Stop it. We're on stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Equipix, on that note, why don't you tell everybody about what's coming up next? <clears throat> All righty, well, uh, that was awkward. <laughs> Indeed. Um, what a wonderful game, I gotta say. 
That that was intense. Um, yeah, that was quite the game, but however quick, because I hate to cut you off, but um, I'm going to end up getting the schedule through with everybody so they know what is coming up next week. Go for <clears> it. <throat> Unless you would rather have the honor. Yeah, I kind of did call you out on it. <laughs> no, I'm just no, kidding. no, 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 no. All righty, ladies good. and gentlemen, make sure you check in on Collective Alpha for the <clears throat> weekend games. We have Check Six taken on Reborn Esports at 7:30 p.m. tomorrow night, and on top of that, at nine we have Devise versus Nova Sunday. Team Loyalty taken on Team Stardom at nine as well. <clears throat> And uh, do not forget to check out the collective social medias. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Raven. And I'm Quick Peaks. We'll see you around.